I am not a fan of square alignment and neither is world number one coach Pete Cowan. Now we're bringing this up in today's video because it's been asked here on the channel. And if you've got a question, just subscribe and pop it down below. Now we're going to be covering today irons and driver. We're gonna hit more greens with this and you're gonna hit it further too. Two things that are gonna help lower your scores. So legendary golf coach Pete Cowan says, he doesn't like and would never advise square alignment for an average golfer because think about it logically, it requires a perfect shot to hit where you're aiming. And how often does that happen? Now, with irons, I want you to really look at this. My shoulders are always gonna stay parallel to this golf club here, okay? But I want your lower half, your feet and your hips to be slightly open. Two huge reasons. And look at this as we go from our irons right now, around about 164 we are here, all the way back to the tee with driver and compare this to what you do right now and think actually, well, I've got those issues. Could this help me? Right, so have a look at my feet there from player cam. I've got my feet open. Two major reasons. It's gonna help you get through more. It's also gonna help you hit down more. Two things I struggle with and two things I know you struggle with. So think about this logically. If I was gonna throw a ball to you with square alignment, my hips get a little bit jammed. Hard to get through the shot right? I feel a bit jammed as I do that. Whereas I open that up a little bit, wow, I feel freedom. It feels like it unlocks that ability to turn more. And if you want to help that as well, even turn your toe out. Look at that. Now, logically, the more you get through the ball, let me illustrate this for you. If I dangle that club from my sternum, the more I get through, the more where my sternum goes. More towards target, right? that's gonna allow me to take my low point ahead of the golf ball, which is hitting down that crunch, that powerful strike, rather than hanging back here. Now, to get the perfect measurement, to be able to take it to the course and work on this on the range, there's two measurements I want you to work towards. Don't forget your club face, we're gonna talk that too here. All I want you to do is place a golf club on the ground like this. And all I want you to have is roughly a club head width from where your shoulders are going to be, again, listen, where your shoulders are going to be, to where your feet are going to be. So I address it, everything to this line, then I open it up slightly, okay? But look at my shoulders, that's still square. And the vital point here is, pay attention to this from player camp. My club face is still aiming, repeat this again, is still aiming down this yellow line. Everything's not gone off to the left of target. That is key. I can't stress that enough. Keep your club face aiming at target. Just adjust your alignment. Unlock some more speed. Get through the goal better. Watch this one fly, by the way, onto the middle of this green. Look at that fly. Go! Right, let's get straight onto driver. Right. Let's get into driver. Now, remember, follow along and compare this to what you're doing in your swing right now. Now, if you're brand new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is your only place for free, simple golf tips that you can take straight out onto the course. Now, remember, we don't want to always plan for a perfect shot. That's so hard to do. So with driver, I always have my feet, hips, and forearms closed but it's crucial you get the club face. But for that, let's get the body aiming right. You'll notice I've got these clubs on the ground here. This one, again, like we had with irons, represents our target line, and this represents a parallel line to that. What I want you to do is this. I want you to stand here, and I'll give you the measurement here in a second, where your right foot is behind your left, your hips feel like they're matching, and your right forearm is also below your left. Now, two keys to this, I find golfers are more inclined to hit up, number one, great recipe for long drives, but also to combine that, it allows us to hit more from the inside. It really unlocks this inside path. When we stand square, try to be perfect, I feel all you're gonna unlock is that over the top left path. And I don't want you to do that. So 
I find people need a little measurement of how much to do. So grab another golf club and place it down relative to this line. You can do this at the range, but like I say, you could also go straight to the course. I want you to place another golf club down and just move that golf club shaft in until it's a club head width apart. So all you're doing there, start square to this golf club and then adjust your right foot and your feet to match this golf club and match it with your forearms, okay? Now on the golf course, I would say it's probably roughly a golf ball back of your left foot. One golf ball, or at the range, place it a club head width apart, okay? Two measurements there, one for the course, one for the range. Now the crucial bit where everybody goes wrong with this, they go, Alex, well I'm aiming right. Well yeah, because golfers do this and they then move their club face to point to the right. Have a look at this and play a cam. I'm doing this, keeping my club head, aiming down this yellow. I'm not moving it to then aim right. I'm keeping it down the yellow and then pulling my right foot back. That is the crucial bit to doing this. Now, watch this ball flight. So my club face is aiming at target. Forearms, hips and feet are aiming all up the right wing. <laughs> Oh, did you just see that ball flight? I could sell that ball flight for a lot because look at the distance. Two, eight, three. That's the adjustment you've got to make. That's the adjustment you've got to make. Use that setup with your driver and with your irons. And by the way, guys, if you're looking for more information on how to improve your game, visit the AE Club. You can get downloadable PDF guides every single month to help you improve your game further. Plus, keep up to date with the latest news. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.